On this episode of Full Access UTV, we're going to talk about upgrading your KRX and your KRX4. Ladies and gents, hey, Jake from Full Access UTV. Hey, today we're gonna to talk about the six and a half things to do to your KRX that is now upgraded into seven, but these are the must-do items for any KRX or KRX4. They're real simple, there's tons of videos on here about them, there's tons of information on our website, there's tons of photos, there's tons of videos, and there's all kinds of documentation, but no matter what we talk about here today, I implore you to go to our website, um, Take a look at each link at each one of these products, not just besides this product page, and search around. Look, do your own due diligence. Go to Copart, look at it everywhere else, and you're gonna see the same thing we're seeing. Um, you don't wanna be that guy who has a total machine after you put all the time and energy in the world into these things and something stupid happens, so that's it. Um, let's talk real quick. KRX, KRX4. I know something about a KRX4s. I've seen quite a bit of them. Um, you know, I, I don't remember last time I saw one, but I definitely did see one, and I went through the whole thing, and I looked at it, and I've checked everything out, and uh, it definitely has some, uh, it definitely has nothing different than a KRX. So it's, well, there's stuff different, but for what's here, no, it's all the same. Um, who knows what's going on? So KRXs, KRX4s are all the same. Uh, there's a lot of weird stuff on the internet, you know what I mean? And, and people call me and say, oh, my dealer said there's no problems. And this one has, a, the new ones have the thicker skid plates. And man, the answer is no, no, no. But you should know there is undeniably some weird stuff going on that we can't make sense of. We have people out there with 10,000 miles on these things. We have people out there with 8,000 miles, 6,000 miles. Um, and they had no issues. And you have people out there with, you know, less than 100 miles who are totaled. And so who knows what the difference is, but it's got to be the metal. A absolutely, Kawasaki made a mistake on the OD and the ID of the metal being used and so on and so forth. But um, what's the difference between one car to another and why one's run bigger tires and one's smaller? It makes no difference, guys. I think it's Friday metal. You know what I mean? It's Friday night. You know how that goes. The guys are making metal. It's not cured correctly. Who knows, man? But there's something weird going on, and that's why they have all these failures. So um, that's it. So... KRX, KRX4, all need the same upgrade, so I'm gonna jump right into that. Today, we have what has been requested by our customers. They're constantly asking for everything to be in one kit. Can you guys just make it simple and make one kit? So we just know what to buy and do and, and be done with it and this and that, and then, you know, we're finally just like, okay, man, that makes total sense, and we're gonna do it for you guys. So um, that's what we're gonna do. But one of the biggest reasons that, that we decided to do this is we want the phone to stop ringing. Like, I don't mind talking to everybody, and everybody knows that. If you've got a problem, you know, genuinely, I want to know about it. And honestly, if I couldn't help you with it, and even if I could, I want to know what the dealer said, what, what the Kawasaki said, and what fixed it. So I can share that story with the next guy, and that's how I feel. But I'm having more and harder and harder times, and I'm sure you guys that call me know. It's taken me 24 hours to even call back some people right now because of the phones and the phones ring because they always have the same question. Hey, Jake, I have a 2023. Is it the same as the 2020? I heard this and that. Do I need that stuff? Yes. Yes, you need that stuff. It is exactly the same. So I have basically what I'm telling you in this video, we have a conversation about, and I do it multiple times every day. Um, our other line rings off the hook, customer service, they're doing the same thing. My wife Angela is talking to people and uh, I mean, she knows more about KRXs than most of the guys calling. So it's awesome and the answer is yes. Um, A-arm supports, you know, I, I don't bash on it. So I don't think I'm gonna be very hard. Do you really think I should buy that? Yes, yes, you should absolutely buy them because you don't know what car you have and you guys don't understand, but 10 feet from me in this shop is a totaled KRX two-seater from a guy out here in Cold Springs. He was going along and he hit this little rock. He says there's no way the rock, blah, blah, blah. Car tells a story when you look at the damage. He ripped the front arms apart and that car is totaled at 150 miles. It's unbelievable to me. So um, he lost a ton of money and the biggest part was he didn't have insurance. So it's crazy and um, that's hard to swallow. So regardless, you do it. Hey, front shock mount braces, rear shock mount braces. Well, I don't plan on jumping it, so I don't think I need those. Yes, you do. 
it doesn't, people think it's because you're landing and it's said in the videos and it's, and it's said online. It's not the landing, it's the tire drooping out. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's just a tire drooping out and it pops the shock mount because of the thin IDOD of the metal. It opens up and then when the car settles back down, your shock comes flying through your hood. Yeah, it looks like everybody's jumping. They're not. So I don't care how easy you are on that car. Yes, you need those, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. So that'll lead me to a story, okay? I had a customer call me and... Um, we had, uh, I've been always taking a mental record of the earliest vehicles and the earliest mileage I've ever heard of something happening with shock mounts and things like that. Um, real quickly, I'll tell you, rear skid plate is 22 miles. And on front, front shock mounts ripping off the car was 81 miles. And this poor guy had taken a car out two times. He had worked on it for a month. He had tons of accessories and everything else. The front shock mounts ripped off. He rolled the car, um, completely wadded it up, and he wanted to fix the shock mounts before the insurance company came to help him pay for the plastic damage and everything else because he knew they were going to total it. So um, the craziest and the saddest part about this was the parts were sitting in his garage. He already had them. He just didn't have time to put them on before he went on this ride. And what happened at 81 miles, he completely wadded and totaled his car. It's just sad. But dude, you guys, don't be that guy. Um, it's crazy. So like I said, 21 miles skid plate, a, uh, 21 miles, a, he breaks the transmission, you know, and they consider that 10 and that frame damage, which is crazy, but we have a bolt-on skid plate sitting here and I'm going to show it to you, but it's an absolute must do. But I get that question all the time. Well, I have the plastic skid plate. I don't need to buy that. Yes, you do. Yes, 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 you do. You absolutely need to buy the, the plastic skid plate and the steel skid plate together. We developed this because one of our friends busted his transmission with the half inch Delrin skid plate. So let me show you something. This is 3H UHMW. This is your skid plate underneath your vehicle. And your KRX 1000 weighs what? 2000 pounds, 2300 on a KRX4. This is 3H. This is what some of uh, the companies out there are selling, okay? This is me and just my weight, not 1,900 or 2,300 pounds. And you're telling me this is gonna protect you from a rock? This is not gonna protect you from a rock, okay? So this, this right here, this is half inch marine board. This is your average aftermarket thickness for a good skid plate on the market and a company who makes you something nice. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna show you the same thing. This is me and just my weight. I'll grab it out here and bend it even more. And you go, man, I'm not even using my entire weight. I'm just pushing on it like that and I'm bending. So are you gonna trust your car to that? Absolutely not. That's no, 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 no. Everybody thinks plastic is like steel. Plastic is just what I showed you guys, okay? This is steel. This is eighth inch steel. It bolts onto the back. And this is underneath this. Okay, so camera just overheated just as I'm about to show you the skid plate. So I'm gonna show you the skid plate. Dude, this is eighth inch steel and it bolts on and this will bolt on above your half inch skid plate that you need. And you do need that. You absolutely need that underneath your car. And let me say something else about Delrin and UHMW skid plates. Everybody's like, what's the difference between this one and that one? Do you think about this and that? I'm like, dude, it's Delrin. I don't care if you pay $900 or $400 for it. It's Delrin in a day. That's all I got to say about that. All right. Next thing on the table in our kit is going to be our A-Arm support kit. This is our KRX-09. On the bottom, you're gonna find an A kit. This is the front of your lower A-Arms. This is the B kit. This is gonna be your front of your upper A-Arm. And this is the C kit. And this is the rear of the upper A-Arm. These are a must have to keep your car together. Um, and, and you know, I mean, th there is no rhyme or reason why you shouldn't do any of this kind of stuff. Front shock mount braces. That's a KRX-08 kit. It's simple, it's a good kit. I mean, if it wasn't good, then the aftermarket wouldn't be copying me, right? Well, it's all obviously got to be a pretty good kit and highly needed out there in the market. And I'm going to say it again. You guys, go looking for what I'm talking about. Look at my videos, look at our products, but this stuff is a must-have. Next up, rear shock mount braces, KRX 48. Simple way to bolt them to the rear so your rear shock mounts don't, don't come off. But this is also included in our uh, Ultimate Club kit. You got a rollover bend valve. This is required in any KRX and any KRX 4. 
I'm gonna say this as a warning to KRX4 owners, please look at the pictures on our website showing you how to correctly run your vent line and switch this thing around because it's not the same as a KRX and it's not in the same spot as a KRX, so please take care of that. Seatbelt bypass, simple thing. You don't wanna be 40 miles out and your seatbelt clicker, which lets you go faster than 10 miles an hour or five or whatever it is, quits working. Hey, put that in your glove box or plug it in now. But it's a must have and you take it with you. Fuel filters, a lot to be said about fuel filters. These things have had too, uh, too restrictive of fuel filters for years and they're causing uh, lean conditions and other things and then fuel pumps burn out because they weren't getting the fuel and blah, 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 blah. So many different things. But I mean, that's it guys. That's like our seven things in a kit. We threw it all in there. Um, it, it's, there's not too much here, but um, I'll tell you what, to make it interesting, if you buy this kit today, I'll even throw in all of these beer koozies and, no, drink koozies, sorry, and these cool stickers, all right? Does that make it more enticing to you? I'm, hope, I'm hoping so. So that's it. I mean, it's a joke that I say I have the worst business plan. If you come spend $349 with me, then the reality is, man, go beat the crap out of your KRX. You're night and day above a Polaris. You're night and day above a Can-Am, and that's the reality of the situation. For them to beef up and do to their car what you're doing here, plus the stuff that comes with the KRX, it's 10 times more at minimum. I mean, it is crazy how much money you got to put into these other things to make them stand up to what Kawasaki did. And so, you guys, you bought the right machine. You bought a KRX, you bought a KRX4, hey man, you guys did it, but uh, I'm just gonna say, I'm not done there. We have one more package for everybody else. So if you buy today, we'll even give you a discounted rate on an IGAS. And you're like, what is an IGAS? AS, okay? This is the first part of your IGAS kit. This is our billet central dump fuel rail. The stock one feeds in on one side and it deadheads to the other end. Ours feeds in through the center. I can say all I want about this and I have a very long video, but at the end of the day, I think my customers who are purchasing them, commenting on the videos and making comments in other places speak a lot more than I. And everybody is having some form of positive, uh, dude, positive everything, okay? So we're gonna throw that in there. But we're not done there. We're also gonna offer you the new Uni air filter for the KRX 1000. Again, this is the IGAS kit, and that's why you want this, because I give a shit. Okay, that's the kit. It's the IGAS kit. These are not must-dos. They're not totally 100% required, but they are, uh, in my opinion, this is totally required. The stock air filters are a complete failure. Watch our videos, watch all the other things and see it. But also, we're gonna throw in to this three quarter uh, ceiling plug for the air filter. So you have the most visibility putting on the tightening hose clamp so you don't get dirt around the seal. You have the best filter on the market and this is also in our IGAS package. So you guys, that's it man. Worst business plan ever, right? But this is it. This is what you guys really need for a KRX 1000. We're putting in the time, money, the energy, and the power to get it to you guys. So, uh, hey, besides this, this is your must-dos. You guys bought the right rig, you're gonna take it out and you're gonna beat it up. You need some other cool stuff like rock sliders, uh, lots of other cool stuff. Hey, we're the people, but <clears throat> losing my voice. Hey man, Jake from Full Access UTV. I appreciate you guys, my family appreciates you guys. Please click that like and subscribe button, man. And if you guys got more questions, like I said, dude, pick up the phone, call me. Just don't ask me the same questions over and over, but even if you want to, I don't care. So anyways, have a good day, man. And uh, thanks for watching.